Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. In this video, we are going to discuss important multiple choice questions on stack linked list and queues data structures. Let's begin. What is the time complexity of inserting a node at the beginning of a single linked list? So if you are having a single linked list and you want to add something at the beginning, you only need to perform a constant time of work and just by doing constant work or just by manipulating head to the new node and new node ka next is a head you can do the task in order of one so answer is order of one option a correct right question number two which of the following linked list allows the tail to point to the head forming a circular structure so basically what they are saying tail tail means last node of a linked list what they are saying which of the following linked list allow the tail to point to the head tail is going to point to head so this circular structure is called a circular linked list or you can call it as a single circular linked list option c is the correct one question number three what is the time complexity of the push operation in a stack implemented using array so if you are using you know arrays arrays so in array what do we have we do have random access we do have random access means directly with the pointer a of 5 or a of 6 we can do anything so order of 1 time complexity is order of 1 time complexity of pushing stack implemented using array is order of one next question is in infix to postfix conversion which operator has highest precedence so you know that highest precedence if you can take right these square brackets right after that you can take internal brackets that is parenthesis right thereafter you can take power of symbol that is exponential symbol Thereafter, division or multiplication or modulus. Thereafter, we are having plus or minus that is addition and subtraction and thereafter assignment. So the order is like this. Order is like this. This is the precedence order from lowest to highest. Lowest to highest. So the highest here is exponential. Order of exponential. Option D is the correct answer. Because which operator has highest precedence? This is the highest power of symbol. Just like 3 ka power 2. That is 9. Right? Likewise that. Okay. After that, the next question is, what is the time complexity of in queue operation in a queue implemented using array? So we want to perform in queue. Using queue, which is implemented using array, order of 1. Right? Because we can directly access any element. Because in array, we are having a availability, ability to access any element with the help of its indexing. That is random access is possible, right? Next question. What is the advantage of a doubly linked list over singly linked list? Okay, so basically doubly linked list supports bidirectional traversal. That is one of the advantage. Whereas in singly linked list, bidirectional traversal is not possible. Okay, next question. In a stack implemented using array, if the stake is full and attempts to made push operation, what happened? So it is saying stake is already full. Further you want to push, but it is already full. It is called as stake overflow condition. It is called as stake overflow condition. Right? So stake overflow will occur. Option B is the correct answer. Next question. What is algorithmic complexity of converting infix to postfix? There is an infix notation. You use stack with the help of stack you convert them postfix right so you know whatever is the number of characters in that particular in that particular string that much time complexity will be required that is order of n we are assuming n characters are there in infix notation so order of n is the correct answer next question this program is given what they are asking following c like pseudocode of a function that takes number of argument, uses a stack, do processing, right? So what is this? What would be the output of this? Okay. So question is, what would be the output of this code? So 
so basically you can say whatever is the value of n whatever is the value of n okay where is the complete question here is a question here are option print a binary representation of n in reverse order print binary representation of n print the value of log n or print the value of log n in reverse order so this is the question right <laughs> if this is the code so let's say you are having anything let's say the value of n equal to 10 so 10 is greater than 0 yes so push so we are having a stack what i am pushing n mod 2 10 mod 2 what is 10 mod 2 0 0 is pushed thereafter n equal to n by 2 value of n is updated n equal to n by 2 means 5 again 5 is greater than 0 yes so push 5 mod 2 what is 5 mod 2 1 push 1 after that n equal to n by 2 5 by 2 2 because integer type integer type means it is going to treat integer value only 2 next time 2 is greater than 0 true yes push n by 2 n mod 2 2 mod 2 is 0 0 will be pushed after that what n equal to n by 2 2 by 2 is 1 1 greater than 0 yes push 1 mod 2 what is 1 mod 2 1 push 1 after that n equal to n by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 is 0 because 0 0.5 by default 0 0.5 means integer value is 0 next 0 greater than 0 0 greater than 0 no false false means while stack is not empty we need to perform operation on stack while stack is not empty pop you know the property of stack first in last out or last in first out so first one thereafter zero thereafter one thereafter zero one zero one zero that is nothing but binary value of 10 so what it is doing this code is converting binary value into uh, this code is converting uh, your uh, your your decimal value into binary representation so what is the correct answer it is printing binary representation of n the value of n was 10 and it is printing 1010 that is nothing but binary representation of n so b is the correct answer next question consider the following pseudocode that uses stack this is the pseudocode what is the output for computer so you will pass the computer code here if there are more characters in the word read read the character and push so one by one what we need to do we need to read the character from left side onwards read all the character one by one c o m p u t e r one by one all the characters are readable while stack is not empty now till stack is not empty what we need to do pop a character and write on the screen pop character r e t u p m o c that is just reversing the order so answer is r e t u p m o c option b this code is reversing the character of a string right yes option b so such kind of pseudocode can be given to you and they can ask what would be the output if such kind of input is given right i hope these questions are clear to you right okay next one is this the following postfix notation with single digit operand is evaluated using a stake not that this is a power exponential operator top two elements of a stack after first star evaluated means we need to evaluate this and after this evaluation what is topmost two element okay do one by one so what we are doing we are converting postfix to in uh, postfix conversion okay eight push two push three push done 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 after that power symbol operand one operand two two e power 3 that is 8 right now our stake is 8 8 okay division 8 by 8 1 right now our stake is 1 thereafter 2 so here is what 1 here is 2 here is 3 what we are having multiplication operator 3 2 2 into 3 is 6 our stake will look like this 1 and 6 so this first star is evaluated now what is top two stack element so topmost first six and one six and one so option a is correct answer so you know how to convert postfix to infix put all the operands one by one and if you will see any operator in the sequence do the operation by pop of first two elements this is called as operand two this will called as operand one and the sequence would be operand one operator operand two just we have did this here also like this right so the correct answer is option a okay next one assume that plus minus star are left associative power is right associative right 
So post fix correspondence. What is the post fix notation for this? Highest precedence, this one. Thereafter, this one. What is right associative? See, EF power will come first. Thereafter, DE. So it would be DEF power power, right? So this is the answer as of now. After that, plus star minus star is having right, uh, uh, more higher precedence. BC star. This is done. Thereafter, the equation is now like this. A plus BC star minus def star, star left associative means a b c star this plus will come here and after that minus def power power so this minus will come here so a b c star plus minus def power power and this minus this is the correct past fix notation corresponding to this in fix one option a is the correct answer right so what i did highest precedence will done first so if there are highest precedence power power need to check associativity associativity right one so e power f will done first power symbol will come here so e f power after that d power e f power so this power will come here so d e f power power likewise that right so option a is the correct answer here okay the result evaluating postfix notation what is the postfix notation result see 10 thereafter 5 then we have plus so it would have 15 after that what we are having 60 or 60 what it is okay i am treating it as a 60 so if it is 60 push 6 push thereafter division 60 divided by 6 that is 10 so right now stake is having 15 and 10 thereafter multiplication so 150 15 into 10 150 right after that 8 8 is here and what what is here minus so 150 minus 8 that is 142 so in the stack at last you will have 142 answer is option c correct so this is these are some of the important questions that we have solved you can get your pdf just by scanning this code join our telegram group all the links are mentioned in the description section do subscribe like and enjoy the mcqs for any suggestions any kind of query, feel free to ask in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much.